If you're trying to create a stylish resume, then one of the things you may want to focus on is including some action verbs. And we tend to include these at the beginning of lists. Now, you don't always have to use action verbs uh, to create parallelism in a list. You can also use other parts of speech. So in our first example, just to show the difference here, uh, we've used nouns. In this case, we might say, I was a makeup artist and I was an usher for the Tempest. If we try to turn these into verbs, it may actually sound a little bit awkward. So let's say, for instance, did makeup, did makeup. Okay, we could say this, but did is not the most expressive kind of verb here, and it just sounds better to say makeup artist. Uh, similarly, ushered for, ushered for the tempest, maybe it doesn't sound the greatest. So you can use other forms. Uh, the main thing is to be consistent within the list. And then also think about your overall resume. If you're constantly skipping back and forth between different formats, uh, then it may not uh, be as smooth or stylish as you might like. Now, it, you don't have to start every list the same way, so with nouns or adjectives or verbs, uh, but really do try to have a little bit of consistency in your resume. Let's have a look then at how we might use some action verbs to create a list. And here we're going to start with one. We'll start with our most dramatic achievement. So maybe we won first place in the steeplechase or something like that. Uh, let's add another one here. Coached some kind of team. And one last one. Nominated for some kind of award. Okay, so nominated for an award. Notice that this last one here is actually a passive a voiced a verb, and there's a little word implied here. You might say something like, I was, or we were, and we've left this out on purpose because it doesn't quite fit with the rest of our pattern, and in a resume, you can actually leave this little helping verb out when you're dealing with this passive verb. So one of the things to take away from this is that even though most of these action verbs are actually active verbs, okay, they show me doing the action, occasionally we might uh, use a passive uh, verb. And if we do, then we just typically leave that helping verb out. One last piece of advice or one last tip, uh, try to really avoid pretentious kinds of verbs. So don't say, I leveraged my connections or something like that, or I authored this particular article. Um, really try to have simple verbs, detailed verbs, but focus on the content that comes afterwards because that's really the most important. Okay, so hopefully that helps you use action verbs.